It's been available for more than 30 years. And thanks to new advancements in welding technology, we're seeing it on a lot more affordable machines these days. But no matter how many times you see it done, you still often are left wondering, what is synergic welding? Well, that's what I'm going to explain today only on this episode of the Fabrication Series. Yeah. Now, synergy is generally and loosely defined as taking multiple individual things, combining them, and their combined outcome or result is greater than the outcome or result of the individual pieces by themselves. In other words, if I was to take this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece, combine all of them, their combined outcome is greater than any one of the individual pieces I put into that system. Basically saying that if you put all of these together, it's greater than any one of them by themselves. Now, synergic welding process is generally a wire feed type. So we're talking about MIG welding, mag welding, flux cord, or anything that spits a wire out of a gun. That's all we're looking at. But to really explain where the synergic welding process came from, we kind of have to dial it back a little bit. And I literally mean dial. Now for a lot of years, all we had on our wire feed machines were only a couple of knobs or maybe some switches. It was our job as the welder to program or input the information we needed for the result into that machine via those two knobs. That was all we had. One was generally for your power output or voltage. The other one was for our wire feed speed or how much spits out of the gun as we want to weld along. Now our job as the welder was to create that perfect puddle. We had to look at it and see that it was flowing correctly. We had to listen for that crackling bacon sound and we had to make sure that whatever speed we had matched whatever we put the machine to. So we were expecting to have our output match our input and we had to work with what we had. We had to know what we were doing in order to make that perfect weld. Now technology has advanced over the years. In fact, about 78% of you are watching this right now on a mobile device or something with some software added to it to make it appear smart or to make your end result easier to achieve simply by giving it some input. Technology is also prevalent in newer welding machines. In fact, over the past decade alone, we've seen a rapid advancement and growth in digital inverter technology, which basically means that you'll find these are more affordable, more available, and you'll see them in a lot more home hobby shops and small business shops with more capabilities and functions than they ever had before. Yeah. But it doesn't end there. And a digital technology inside of your welding machine essentially turns it into a very small computer. You give it some input, it gives you an output. That ability to store information inside of the machine is why many manufacturers are starting to add synergic functions into their machines. And it's also why you're seeing them more often. But the problem you end up finding is that most manufacturers will tell you what the machine will do or how it can perform, but they don't really tell you what synergic welding actually is. Now there's a reason I speculate why that's happening, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Let's first actually continue talking about what synergic welding actually is. Synergic welding is nothing more than a program stored into the machine to produce a predictable outcome based on your input. The input used to be a couple of knobs and switches, but since we can store more information into the machine, that input can be many different things, such as material type, material thickness, wire type, wire diameter, gas type, and more. All the inputs correlate to a stored combination of parameters, which we call programs. Those programs produce the desired result. Is synergic welding really that simple? Yeah. All you really got to do is tell the machine what you want and it spits it out. But it really makes you wonder, especially if you're anybody like me, who says it's the correct result or where did the correct result come from? The manufacturer of the welding machine is the one who makes the synergic program for their machine or the one that's stored in their machine. It's their synergic program. So each program is a little bit different from manufacturer to manufacturer. Also, their process may change and a lot of other things may differ on it. Maybe even the type of weld that they do, whether it's a straight weld or maybe it's got some uh, you know, a little signature or whatever to it, but essentially speaking, what basically works is a welding engineer will sit down with the software engineer, weld it a million times over or different ways, and they will come up with the ideal result based on all of that information. Then they repeat it until they essentially have every single possible parameter to create a program that can be stored in the machine. That's all it really is, just a lot of welding. But each manufacturer has their own way of creating a weld. Now some of them use like pulse features to create the ultimate synergic weld or that's incorporated into it. While some of them use like let's say spray arc instead of uh, you know short circuit transfer or you know anything in, in between. They use a combination of things to do it or a combination of different ways to do it. That's why you don't see too many synergic programs that are the same on you know multiple machines. It's ultimately up to the manufacturer to create the program and no two are really alike. They're very similar but they're never really exactly alike and many of them use different processes in order to achieve the same result. 
Now, since each manufacturer creates their own synergic functions and their own synergic programs, there's not really a what is synergic, generally speaking, type of definition because what their synergic function is is not necessarily the same as what somebody else's synergic function is. But basically speaking, when you boil it all down to it, all it is is nothing more than programmed outputs based on many input parameters. That's what synergic welding is. Now that's about all I've got for this episode and I want to thank you guys very much for watching and I truly hope that you have a better grasp on what synergic welding actually is. It's not that complicated, it's actually very, very simple if you just break it down to what it really is. Now, again, each manufacturer is going to be a little bit different and you got to figure out which machine you want and we're going to get into that a little bit more because I got plenty of synergic machines behind me. So, that being said, thanks again as always. If you need to get in contact with us, you can hit us up on the fabricationseries.com website, Instagram at the.fabricator or facebook.com slash the fabricator series. Check the description for all of that information and in there you will also find tools and gear we recommend based on the stuff we use here on TFS. I'll see you guys on the next episode.